Hey everyone, I'm going to be making handles for three of the knives that I made in my last video. That's an 8 inch chef's knife that's going to get a mahogany handle, and I've got a paring knife and a steak knife that are both going to get different colors of layered G10. So let's get to it. So what we're looking at doing here is just gluing up these scales with their liners first. I'm going to be doing green liners with this mahogany with this sweet curly pattern to the grain and some black bolsters on it. This is layered black and blue G10 with white paper liner. And then this is gray, solid gray G10 liners with black and red layered G10. these handle pins lined out on the handle scales. The next thing to do will be to finish the front faces before I glue them onto the blades. I'm going to take all of these up to a 600 grit finish and then we'll get them epoxied onto the blades and start shaping them.
these three handles all finished up. I took them up to 220 grit on the belt sander and then I took them up to 600 grit hand sanding and then I applied an Odie's oil finish. I'm gonna get to work on some sheaths now. I'm gonna do Kydex blade guards essentially for the two smaller knives and then I'll do a stamped leather. I think I'm gonna do a basket weave pattern for the chef's knife. sheaths all finished up for these two smaller knives. Uh, I am super happy with the fit on these. I love these Kydex sheaths. When you get a nice crisp fit, you get a, a, a click. Oh, I love that sound. Whew. So this is a nice good fit. There's no wiggle. No, uh, no chance it's going to fall out if somebody throws it in like a, a drawer in a kitchen or something. Uh, so these will protect the blade real nice. I still have to sharpen these. Uh, I'll probably, I scratched up the, the finish a little bit. Um, I'll probably hit these with a, a surface conditioning belt again just to clean up these bevels before I actually put an edge on them. Uh, but all in all, these are done and now it's time to start working on the leather sheath for the kitchen knife, which I'm going to do a basket weave pattern on. So I'm going to get to work on that. Let's get to it.
In case you're curious about my belt progression for sharpening, uh, I start with a 220 grit X-Flex ceramic belt, and then I move through an M45, an M30, and an M16 Trizac belt. And I think that roughly translates to something like a, a 220 or 400, and then an 800, and then a 1200 grit belt. And then I finish up on a leather strop with green polishing compound. I'm gonna try to show you the bird that's left behind after going through the 1200 grit uh, belt pro progression that I do. So you can see here, it's I've already stropped it a couple times, so some of the burr has come off. You see how it pushes back and forth, and you can actually see little lines left in the strop. And as you get all of those pieces of metal to sort of flake off that make up the burr. That's when you'll actually start to feel a sharp edge. You see that nice burr all the way down the blade. Let's see if we can do the old paper towel roll test. This is solid. We'll see how the chef's knife does against it. Man, perfectly clean cut. It didn't feel I think this almost would have stayed up if I wouldn't have hit it so hard. All right, these three knives are finished up. I'm gonna get them all shipped out, and next week I'm gonna start working on two Roman Puggio short swords. So I've never done any kind of swords. These are way outside of my normal you know, comfort zone, uh, but I had a Marine Corps friend reach out to me, and he wants these for sort of like field craft, you know, out, out in the bush, machete type knife. So, and for whatever reason, he wants them to be Puggios. <laughs> so, I'm gonna be making these. He wants them integral, so the pommel, the handle, the guard, the blade, all of it will be one piece of steel. Nothing will be welded or attached. Uh, I will be attaching some ironwood scales, uh, but that's about it. And then I'm gonna be making two leather sheaths for each of them. And I think it's gonna be awesome. Making a pair of knives always presents sort of its own ch set of challenges, trying to keep everything proportionate and, and looking uh, symmetrical across each blade. So I'm gonna be testing my skills with these, but I'm excited to try and make them and crank out some knives that I think are cool. Uh, if you're interested in having a knife made, you can reach out through the contact form on my website, davidmoonforge.com, or you can send me a message on Instagram, at davidmoonforge. Thank you so much for sticking around to the end of the video. I really do appreciate it. Um, I will see you in the next build.